According to the Namibia Bus and Taxi Association, NAPTA, taxi drivers are often the ones to arrive first at accident scenes before emergency services do. However, many a times they are unable to help the injured. Since September, NAPTA and other partners have organized first aid and defensive driving training for drivers at Vintuk, Ongwadiva and now Valfis Bay. The first few seconds, they count a lot. Okay, and then if you can use your knowledge that you get from our trainings to save someone's life, I believe it's very beneficial because the first few seconds are very important. So as soon as you start with your CPR until the help arrives that you would call. The drivers spoke on what the initiative meant for them. It started to ask that the taxi drivers will come to menace. It, it, it means that we are going to change our menace from today. And... Especially when, when you are now we are facing this holiday, December, whereby we are going to, to travel from another to another place, we are, now we are going to change our main as we come to driving. We are going to help those who are getting injuries because we ran a road. First, you have to concentrate when you are in the road. You have to observe, make the observation the way you are driving, the anticipation to see what's the movement on the road. That's what we learn here. Before you make the action, before you want to overtake blind spot, drivers are just overtaking on the blind spot. But today we learn that those are the place where we should not take chances because life are perishing there. NAPTA wants the program rolled out to the rest of the country. Training to be a national uh, uh, initiative. We really thank Vivo Energy Namibia to come on board in terms of funding. So whereby the drivers, all drivers, buses and taxis are trained for free. They are not paying even a blue cent. So that's why we are still, uh, you know, continuing until all buses and taxi drivers in the whole country are trained. The drivers received first aid kits and certificates after completing the two-day training. Renata Rinkura, NBC News, Valfis Bay.